Smash! <laughs> Hello, my name is Sao Kane, and this Fortnite Save the World video is about the spooky assault rifle, Candy Corn LMG. I am going to cover perks, hero loadout, cons and pros, and I will rate Candy Corn LMG. So let's jump into the video. Candy Corn LMG is an assault weapon, and it is one of the Fortnite Mirror's guns. It is a heavy, festive weapon with a huge mag size full of candy shaped bullets, which is the most important. Most effective at mid range engagements when aiming down sights from a fixed position. Candy Corn LMG has a unique Halloween theme look. So let's take a look at the perks. What I like about Candy Corn LMG that it can have 3 critical damage perks. There are not a lot of weapons in Fortnite Save the World which can have 3 critical damage perks, so Candy Corn LMG is more unique than most weapons. Also, Candy Corn LMG has a big mag size, so magazine size perk fits very well on this gun, making the mag 75% bigger. Candy Corn LMG can deal physical damage only, so if you want to use this gun most effectively, you should use it against physical monsters. But because of the high damage, I was able to deal with elemental husks pretty good as well. The sixth perk is unique, and only Candy Corn LMG has this perk. Eliminating enemies with this weapon can spawn healing candy pickups. I like this perk because I can focus on damage in hero loadout and don't have survivalist support perk. If you can kill husks fast, you can heal quickly as well. You may notice that I have no critical rating perks on Candy Corn LMG, so how can I often crit without a decent crit rating? Let's take a look at the hero loadout to find out. I am playing Crackshot as a commander because of the huge damage buff. After firing 50 bullets, ranged weapon damage increases 145%, which is a massive damage buff. You can choose another commander. But Crackshot is an excellent choice if you are going to play Candy Corn LMG. Crackshot Commander Perry decreases weapon stability, so with 50 stacks of Holiday Spirit, weapon stability reduces by 35%. But don't worry, because Stay Frosty Glass Perk increases weapon stability by 35% after 3 eliminations, so you shouldn't feel any weapon stability changes. Totally Rocking Out Team Perk covers the lack of critical rating very well. With Totally Rocking Out Team Perk active, Rockin' Riff buff also increases crit rating by 160, so high crit damage pays off extremely good. Breakbeat Wildcat and Main Stage Quinn are two totally red heroes making the Team Perk active. Battle Beat Perk refreshes Rockin' Riff buff duration and because Crackshot has shockwave ability. To get Rockin' Riff buff is very easy in situations when there are a lot of husklings or husks around. Main Stage Quinn is helpful for situations when you need to get a Rockin' Riff buff immediately to kill the mist monsters or the miniboss, because you can get subwafers from metal objects when Main Stage Quinn is in the support team. Assault crit damage and assault damage perks are buffing Candy Corn LMG crit damage and damage respectively. Startup perk is another Candy Corn LMG damage buff, which is buffing damage by 25% after you fire 25 bullets. That's the hero loadout I am playing. If you don't have Crackshot, you can play Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, Rescue Trooper Havoc, Rescue Trooper Ramirez, Bulletstorm Jonesy or Breakbeat Wildcat as a commander, or any other hero if you are not going for a massive Candy Corn LMG damage. The choice is yours. Candy Corn LMG is dealing physical damage only, so it is most potent against physical enemies. I have killed a 140 power level blaster, taker and a few smashers. To kill Blaster and Taker was very easy. 
physical smashers weren't a threat too. Because physical damage weapons are dealing only 50% of its damage to elemental monsters, I needed more time to kill Nature Smasher. I want to tell you about Candy Corn LMG's disadvantages. Candy Corn LMG can deal physical damage only, so it isn't so effective against elemental monsters because physical weapons are dealing only 50% of its damage to elemental enemies. Candy Corn LMG fire rate is almost 11 bullets per second, so if you are praying and spraying without a breath until the mag is empty, you will feel that this spooky fella is consuming ammunition quite fast. I have told you about the cons, so it's pro's turn. Candy Corn LMG is one of a few weapons which can have even 3 critical damage perks. If totally rocking out team perk is active, these weapons with 3 critical damage perks can deal massive amounts of damage. If you are playing Crackshot as a commander, you can get the full damage buff after you fire 50 bullets, so weapons with massive mag size like Candy Corn LMG is an excellent choice. Candy Corn LMG has a unique 6th perk, which can spawn healing candy pickups. If you can survive by eating those candies, which in fact are healing almost 27,000 of health per candy on my power level playing solo. So if you can't survive by eating those candies, you can focus on damage in the support team. Candy Corn LMG has proper perks to kill physical monsters. Unique 6th perk can spawn healing candy pickups, and those candies are a good way to heal. Gun has splendid damage per second. Damage and headshot damage is fair. The base critical rating is average. It can deal massive critical damage. The fire rate is excellent. Max size is huge. The range is average. Reload time is pretty long, which is 4 seconds. But with 175 bullets in the magazine, it is fair. Quite the right impact amount. Candy Corn LMG is an excellent weapon with a correct hero loadout and perks on it. I have compared pluses and minuses, and I am giving rating A to the Candy Corn LMG. Final thoughts on Candy Corn LMG. It is really good. Decent damage, massive critical damage, and impressive fire rate and max size are making Candy Corn LMG a terrific tool in the fight against Hus. Not so good for 4 players missions, because Candy Corn LMG can deal physical damage only, but still viable to use. It can work as a support weapon because of the healing candy pickups. That's all I wanted to show you guys about Candy Corn LMG. Share your thoughts about this spooky gun in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video and you find it informative and exciting to watch, please press the like button. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to watch more videos in the future and support the channel, be sure to sub. Have a great time and peace out.